Hello Internet. Today we're going to be playing Cinti Arena. We're playing on Tabletop Simulator. And we're in the middle of a game here. I'm currently playing as the Follower of Light, which is the, one of the priest specializations. I can play healing actions as if they're defenses. I also have a heal that I can bring up whenever I need to. This cost me faith, though. And I am playing a wizard. My specialization is an Arcanomancer. Um, basically, I have Arcane Blast, which costs two mana. It can deal two damage, though, that cannot be negated. But my next action deals less damage. And I have Quick Mind, which uses four of my Kindle to generate six mana. Instead of the base ability, which is using six Kindle to generate ten mana. Right. It's the start of my turn. Robert actually recently used his Arcane Blast, which is why his marker is there. He just spent his turn to get back his 10 mana. Uh, he could have done the 4 for 6, but he's, he was already at 6 Kindle, so he went with 10. Uh, I at, went through my turn here. I do have a Healing Aura out, which is going to heal me 1 next turn. And I do have 2 points still on my Renewal. So my turn, I already gained my Faith and drew my card. I only have 2 Faith, so I'm actually going to go ahead and Earth Shock again. It's going to be one damage and gain one faith. And now it's going to be Robert's turn. Alright. Generate my Kindle. Draw my card. Hmm. I will actually use one of my mana to use False Memories. On yourself or me? On myself. Target discards hand and draws the same number of cards. Which is four. That's better. Okay. Up next, I will use three of my mana, putting me down to six, to play Vampiric Touch. Deal. F no. No, wait, hang on. You forgot you had our game blast up? I'm just spelling that. Okay. Alright, so he's going to do four damage to me, and for every two damage he deals to me, he gets to heal one. I don't currently have any defenses, so I'm going to just have to take 4 damage. Woo -woo. So I heal 2, putting me back up to 10. And then I am done. My turn then? Yep. Alright, I heal 2 for my 2 different heals. That one goes away. I generate a faith and draw a card. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and use 4 of my faith, which is all of it. Deal 1 damage to him now. And I expect to deal three damage. And that will be the end of my turn. Alright. Generate my Kindle, draw my card. Okay. I will shoot you for one with my Arcane Shivers. Zero mana deals one damage. Yep. I'm not complaining defenses, so I'll take it. Done. Right, three damage coming your way. Alright. Use all the two of my mana to place Sanctuary. Negate all damage, and I heal the target by four. I think I'm going to pick me as the target. If it seems weird to have that, it's for primarily for monster games, so you can heal other people. So my righteous flame went off, and it's not. Now I generate that, and draw. Oh, and I had my last of my renewal heal. Let's see, so I only have one faith. I'm going to go ahead and use Flame Strike. Just going to deal two damage and generate me a faith. And my it's going to be Robert's turn, yep. Alright, flip up my Kindle, draw my card. So he's at three, so next turn he'll be able to generate six if he wants. Hmm. Which I will probably be doing. Yeah, I'll just shoot you for another one. Okay. I'm going to use my last two faith to bring up my renewal, which is a heal one for three turns. Alright, so it's my turn then? Yep. Three damage coming your way from the last tick of Righteous Flame. Teleport to negate it. Okay. So teleport. And then I heal one from my healing. I gain a faith. Draw a card. Okay. Max hand side is five, so I'm okay for now. I'm actually going to go ahead and earth shock him for one damage. Boop. Now, 
if you're wondering why I don't always cast my renewal, if I cast it again before it goes away, he just brings it back to effect three. And uh, now it's Robert's turn. Alright, I will generate my Kindle, draw my card. I will go ahead and use four. My four Kindle here. Boop, 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 boop. To generate six mana, so I'm at seven. And it is your turn. Six down, I heal one. I gain one faith and draw one card. It's not the best time to draw some of these. I'm going to go ahead and you do one damage now, though, and additional one damage for three turns. I will use Divination. It's a defense card that does not block any damage, but it draws me two cards. Which is good for him because he's low on cards. Uh, so that was my three faith, though. So it is now Robert's turn. Alright, generate one of my Kindle, draw my card for the turn. Uh, let's see, I will go ahead and use no mana to play a flash burn. The one damage coming my way? Yep. Alright, takes me to 15. No mana to play a flash burn. Oh, really? Wish I had the faith. <laughs> for no apparent reason. I will use f three mana Boop. to play another vampiric touch. Which is going to take me down to 8. And heal me by 2. Alright, my turn then? Yep. One damage coming your way? I will take it. And one, gain faith, draw a card. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Earthshock again, which is going to be one faith. And I probably change the name of that since it's Follower of Light. But anyway, one faith, one damage. Coming towards Robert. Alright. It's his turn. Alright, flip up my stuff, draw my curd. He's sitting at four mana, but he's only two away from getting his mana back, so. I will go ahead and go down to one mana, play a Searing Flame, which damage cannot be negated. Ouch. Okay. Uh, in response, however, I am going to go ahead and play my Lesser Healing, which heals me two and draws a card. Because again, using my power. That's really good with them. It is. One damage coming your way. I will take it, put him at nine. Card. Gain of faith, draw a card. Okay. I'm gonna have to discard down this turn, definitely. Uh, I'm gonna go into Earthshock again. Down to eight. I have to discard. Uh, that's one of my rares. It's an ally. Sad not to have it, but it's better to get it out early game. Because every time I get attacked, I get put a counter on it, and as an action I can move all the counters and deal damage equal to the number removed. It can get really, really scary sometimes. Uh, plus, he's playing a wizard who can dispel it, so yeah. I'm also going to go ahead and get rid of that, which brings me down to five cards. That is another one of my rares. It's Cleansing Aura. It removes all non-ally effects or, you know, or removes five counters from one card. So I can remove counters from cards, or allies, but I can't remove them my, myself. And that's the end of my turn. Okay. Generate my Kindle, draw my card. Wait, what was my action? You are a shark. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Hmm. I will use two of my Kindle to generate four mana. Yep. Boop. Five. It's kind of like a quick version of his quick cast. Quick mind. I will use. Hmm. Yeah, I'll use one mana to false memories myself. So I discard this card and draw a new card. To remove the spell. And then I will use two mana. And shoot you for two. Alright, so I take the two, but I'm gonna go ahead and activate my renewal for two faith. Your turn. One damage coming your way from my flame torrent for the last time. Alright. Gain of faith. Draw a card. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, that goes to tick down at the end of my turn. Sorry. I'm going to go ahead and have to earth shock again. Which is, again, one damage, one faith. And I gain one faith. And I'm going to have a discard card, which is going to be a purge. 
Oh, you don't want to get rid of my effect? No, I do not want to get rid of your negative effect. <laughs> Alright, so now it's Robert's turn. Flip. Draw. Let's see. Eh, I'll flash burn you for one damage. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and respond with a protection. And I will respond with a dispel. Okay, I still take the one damage. In the case of multiple swifts, the last one to go in goes first, so his dispel goes off before my divine protection protected from his spell. And I will go ahead and use my action for Arcane Shivers to deal zero damage. Okay, because he had that negative up. Alright, your turn. Okay, I heal one. Seven, my faith back, draw card. Alright, and I think we're going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, we've been doing pretty good so far. This game is pretty pretty darn close. Um, this was the follower of light versus the Arcanomancer. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. All right. Bye. Bye.